Hey everybody, this is JT Movie. I'm the animator of Omega, unfortunately. And today we're gonna look at how to do some lighting techniques uh, in Flash. As you notice here, uh, this is called Omega Animation Extra, and I spelled animation correctly. And as an animator, that's, uh, well, pretty pitiful. But here we go. So starting off here, you wanna have an animation done. This is very important to make sure it's also colored. Okay, so first what you want to do is copy your entire frames on your timeline and then make a duplicate layer right on top of it. And then you want to click edit multiple frames and expand it out to the entire timeline, assuming you have, I don't know, 500 frames. And then you want to select all, just control all. And then you want to erase the fill color. That's this, this little dash through it. So now all your frames on top are completely blank. I like to change my line color to blue on all these frames. Uh, this is gonna be very important later. So change all the frames to blue lines, no fill, and then you wanna change your pencil color back to black. This is gonna make it easier uh, to trace your lighting and also it's going to separate the lines between the blue and the black. So if you ever make a mistake, you can easily fix a mistake without erasing your blue lines, which you don't wanna erase, of course. And here you go, you just go through here um, and having the blue lines with the black lines, it makes it easier for the lines to lock up, connect. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I don't use brushes. Lines are just easier to use for me personally. So like right here, here's the black line and here's the blue line. They're completely separated. So if I wanted to undo and delete that black line, I wouldn't have any problems. So you just do that for every single frame. Uh, in my case, it was, uh, 840 something like that really helps to have a drawing tablet but also you can use the line tools and here's another example where the lines being separated is useful again um, right here we have the lines that are going to be identical they're not going to move uh, your lighting in this scene so you can just copy all the lines by pushing shift holding down shift copying them and then putting them right there. And you don't have to worry about accidentally clicking the blue lines because they're separated. You know, and then you go back through every frame and color them, of course. Uh, I just go with black as a base color. And then having the black lines is really helpful because it tells you exactly where your lighting is supposed to be. Okay, now that our coloring's done, we're gonna edit multiple frames once again, select all of them. And then now we're gonna erase the line. So it's kind of like a pattern. First we erase the fill, now we're gonna erase the lines. And then also, we're going to change the color. I like to change it to black alpha 40. Uh, that just gives, gives it like a line. You can do any color you want. Honestly, it kind of depends on whatever you're going for. But that's the personally what I like, what I think looks the best for me. And yeah, so there you have it for that. Also, what I like to add is what is called an overlight. Uh, I basically do sort of the same thing again. This is actually much easier than just the lighting itself. This takes seconds, honestly. Uh, you copy all your frames again, create another layer, um, let's label this properly, paste all the frames on top, and then edit multiple frames. And now we're gonna start by taking the line off. And now you kind of have sort of, I don't know, some <laughs> interesting style if you wanted some animation like that. Um, but okay, yeah, you take the light off and then change the color, and then, I don't know, I'm gonna go for like a linear look, uh, sort of gives like a gradient look. Yeah, edit multiple frames is a very useful tool for lighting. So you have right here, and then he looks like he's doing something inappropriate or bobbing his head, depending on what age you are. Uh, but generally what I do is just do a single fill color. It keeps the space low. Half what I have is the alpha of the lighting and then the overlight is just alpha. It just makes it look better. It makes them kind of look more even. Everything kind of looks streamlined. Yeah, and gives them sort of a tan or look. I don't know, I don't like pale people. And that's it. Uh, lighting is basically down to that. There's other methods you can use. If you used a brush, you can use some sort of similar tutorial like this. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're working in animation, you're working in flash, and especially you're working with characters that are semi-realistic, uh, yeah, it's a good tool to use and it makes everything really quick as opposed to just free drawing the lighting on it and having the lighting go off the character and have that mess. Now this, this makes it so it perfectly lines up with the character and you don't have to worry anything like that. 
So yeah, that's it. This is JT Movie. If you're interested in animation, uh, Young Justice, uh, superheroes, Avatar, Legend of Korra, that kind of stuff, I uh, have an animation called Omega. Check it out. Uh, and if you're interested in supporting it, check out my Patreon at jtmoviepatreon.com. And yeah, I'll be doing more tutorials like this, or at least I'll try. And yeah, if you have uh, any questions or suggestions for another tutorial, uh, let me know. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. I'll see you guys never, because I don't know who you are. All right, see ya.